everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today, you guys, we're going to be doing our uh, weekly budget, um, paycheck to paycheck for most. But for me, it is my weekly budget. Um, if you are new here, I am self-employed. I am a self-employed hairstylist and I like to get my life together by um, planning minimally and functionally and doing a budget so that I can track my money because my money is so inconsistent. But um, here we are, this was last week. So here was last week, um, we estimated 850 and by me being self-employed, if you are new here, I just do a minimal amount that I expect to make on my lower end and somewhere in between my higher end. And I estimated 850, I ended up making $1,218 for Norris Cove. I didn't know how that was gonna go. I estimated 50, we ended up making $462.73. And actually, I didn't get all of this last week. I just like to put that total for that week, but um, that money is kind of rolling in this week. So there's that, all our bills were paid. Um, we got gas paid for shipping. I got more shipping to pay for this week, which is wild to me. Like, I don't understand. I guess because I shipped out boxes and some of them were just, um, I don't even know. I think, I don't know, but anywho, I already got one out. Um, so we got more shipping to pay this week and it's going to get paid. So pretty much the money <laughs> that I made last week that's coming in this week, I will be paying for shipping so that um, I can ship because a lot of times if it's over a limit on Shopify, it won't allow me to ship. So sometimes I have to use another shipping service. So let's get into this today. And I have my Moterm over here, which is my everyday planner. I'm going to my everyday carry. I'm going to check in this for what bills are due this week, even though I have them written down in my budget planner. I just jot things down like on the go. So um, sometimes certain things I don't know have a date. I'll write them in here and then reapply them for the next month to make sure that I have um, the correct dates on things. So we are doing the week of the 26th through July 2nd. And our sources are here, Norris Cove, and miscellaneous. And for this week, I'm going to put 100 because I really got more than that. Um, there's one thing. Yeah, I'll just put 100. Um, here, let me see. Let me see how my week is looking. <sighs> yeah. It's looking pretty busy. Let's do a uh, thousand. And then we'll see at the end of the week. Today's Wednesday, so I'm a little bit behind, but nonetheless, I'm here. Um, so what have we did? Now, y'all, I did a mistake. I know my PayPal is due on the 25th. I paid it on the 26th. I totally, I reminded myself the day before, and I said, well, go ahead and pay it. Pulled up the link, got sidetracked looking at invoices and didn't pay it so the next day on the 25th i was like okay we got to pay this again got sidetracked looking at invoices forgot then tuesday i mean next thing I, thing I know it was a 26 so nonetheless it got paid they've taken their money out um go daddy i have it down for the 27th but it hasn't come out yet so that's seven dollars and 41 cent um I have Shopify down. I'm going to go ahead and put them down again. Normally, they send me my next bill, but um, mm, I don't know. I'm going to put 250 here on the 28th. And car insurance is due today as well. That's 465 I already know I'm not paying them, so they're not getting paid till later. <laughs> After pay is due today. I had enough. I had an affirm yesterday as well. Um, let me put a firm down. They got their money. Y'all, I'm about to be done with these affirms and after pace. Oh, but they, they come in clutch sometime. I'm not even gonna lie. Um get Shopify after pay. 
and after pay is 51.63 that comes out today yeah <laughs> another after pay on the 29th that one's 47.10 this is that week i have after pays back to back it used to be one every day of this week until i paid them off and then again on the 30th we have another after pay and that one's 67.94 and then i have a firm on this day as well what the what who pray for me a firm at 36.52 and then i have my booth rent to on the first and that's 250 and on the first again i have amazon amazon i'm thinking i'm paying 15.89 and then throw it in paper i can never remember this i just put down 47 i'm gonna put down 48 dollars and then I think on the second i have community see i'm running out of room community is normally like 40 dollars might be 30 and then ulta uh 30 and i had one more community ulta let me look to july yeah just have community and ulta amazon Oh, y'all, on the first, I have another after pay. <laughs> yeah, this is that same week. Oh, my goodness. After pay, 97.35. Down here in my notes, I'm putting that we're going to Hell's Kitchen. Um, I mentioned this in my weekly plan with me, but my aunt, she's going to sponsor me. I can pay her back later, so that's cool. Um right now we can't do no envelopes as you can see so we have filled up all of these that's why in the 2024 inserts i made this longer for those who have more bills coming out during the week so let's do some math Okay, so my total is $1,455.56. I think I made a small error with like a 20 cents or so um, as far as it being less or more. But let's put this down. As I stated, um, where is it? Car insurance. I'm moving that to next week. Um because that'll be the first my customers are coming in as far as the hair salon um and next week is my busy week there so um and then i make a bit this week who knows um shopify uh, i don't know probably next week um but if it gets paid it gets paid um boo -boo -boo -boo. all this other stuff is going to get paid so if we take out the 465 and the 250 will have plenty to work with so i'm not even going to say that i'm in a negative i already know some of these things just aren't getting paid my after pays and the firms those are going to get paid um because i'm trying to bring that balance down but that's what we have this week you guys um again we don't have money for that <laughs> um i did get gas this week so y'all gas i have to get premium I spent $67. I already got that. Um, debt payments. I owe Capital One, y'all. I have to take out about that. But I owe them about ooh, $300. So I don't know how I'm going to pay that. But we're going to work on that. We're just going to munch at them a little bit. And that is it. I don't, I don't want to fill this in because I know what's going on. But let's do a little bit of... Yeah, because there's no need us to do what we have left because there's really nothing left. <laughs> but um, you can find these inserts in my shop. They are a digital download. 
and this is how I get my, my budget together. Um, I'm going to get better. I was doing so good, y'all. I started the year off on such a good foot. Like, such a good foot. Like, saving, put into my high yield savings account, building up my emergency fund. And then I just fell off. I, I know what my issue is. Like, if I'm having a bad mental week where just stress, I just buy all the things. Okay? All the things. And so, here we are. So, I'm trying to learn to meditate and not just buy all the things so that I can save and I can be in a better position. You know, uh, I want to get back to my cash envelopes, but clearly this ain't the week. Okay. This is not the week for that because we don't have it. Okay. But eventually I'm going to get back. And that was another thing I had saved so well in my cash envelopes, but then I got on this uh, spending bin and <laughs> voila. Anywho, nonetheless, if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell, leave me a comment in the comment section, let me know if today's your first time watching, and we would love to welcome you to the code, and that's all I have for today, you guys, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!